Hi, welcome to I-25. My name is Lorraine and I'm glad to be here with you again. The class that we're going to see today is number 43. How are you, Roman? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thanks a lot. And what about you, Yvette? Hi, Lorraine, I'm fine. Thank you. That's and very you? good. Okay, <laughs> let's share screen so that we can see the class, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so here we have the first grammar. Grammar one, past simple. Do you know what the past simple is, Evie? Yes, uh, it's um, something that uh, just passed. Exactly, it's something that passed, that uh -huh. was an action that happened in the past and it's already finished. Okay, okay. and do you know what the passive uh, is? Roman? Mm, yes, I, I, I think so. It's when, um, when okay. you are talking something in, in, in passive voice. Okay, it is when we want to, uh, to have like a certain uh, emphasis in okay. the object more than in the subject. Let's read the grammar. Okay, active sentences in simple past have the following structure. Can you read it, Roman, for me? Yes. Subject plus form of the past tense of the verb plus object. Okay, so how could that be? Could you give me an example, Yvette, please? Of the... Um, of this form. Subject, form of the past subject. tense. So this is simple past. Okay. Uh-huh. I play uh, in my garden. Very good. I played in my garden. So I is a subject, play mm -hmm. is the past tense, and the rest is the complement of the object uh, or the object that we could say in the garden. Passive sentences in simple past have the following structure. Roman, can you read the structure, please? Yes, of course. The object of the active sentence plus was where plus past participle of the verb plus by plus object of the active sentence. Very good. Can you give me an active sentence, Roman? Mm, yes. I cleaned I cleaned my car yesterday. Very good. That's that's the active. Okay, Evie, can you change it into passive? Okay. Uh, to pass it, uh, the car was clean uh, yesterday. The car was cleaned oh, no. by me. Sorry, the car was cleaned by, by me yesterday. Okay, Is sometimes correct? we don't have to say the by. We, we leave it apart, okay? Sometimes we don't know the people uh, that we are talking about. Like, for example, that building was this was destroyed or but we don't know who destroyed it yes okay okay so here we have some examples we have uh is the past simple for the for the passive we have to use the auxiliary verb was for i was he she it wasn't for negative and were for we, you, they, and weren't for negative, okay? Here we have some verbs in the past participle. Cleaned, destroyed, discovered, eaten, given, grown, invented, made, produced, spoken, visited, and written. And then it says here, regular verbs, visit, visited. Irregular verbs, speak, spoken. As you can see, they are telling you that most of the regular verbs, we only add ed or the at the end to form their past okay. or their past participle. And in the irregular verbs, most of the time, all of the word changes, okay? Okay, so sorry, Lorraine, what is the meaning of grown? Grown, okay, crecido. ¿Cómo? Sorry? Cre crecido, es como ah, okay. crecer. 
grow, grew, grown, okay? Okay. Okay, now what I want you to do is to give me an example using this, but remember that we have to talk about the action. It's going to fall in the object more than in the subject, okay? Okay. Okay. So, who can give me an example using this? I will give you one so that you can check it out, okay? <laughs> okay. It was cleaned yesterday. I can be talking about my car. It was okay. cleaned yesterday, okay? Now, uh, who of you wants? Uh, who of you want to give me an example? I have one. Okay. Uh, the cake was cooked uh, yesterday. Okay. Oh, was by, cooked. By my, my, but was cooked. Cooked. By my sister yesterday. Okay. Okay. But remember, the pronunciation is cooked. Cooked. Yes, you have to pronounce the k sound and d. Cooked. Cooked. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Roman, can you give me another example? Yes. The car was made in China. Very good. Okay. So, do you have any uh, any doubts in here? Mm, no. No. Okay. So now let's go to the next slide. In use. There are two basic rules for transforming sentences from active voice into passive voice, which are common for all tenses. Evie, can you read the first one? Of course. The positions of subject and objects will be interchanged. Is interchanged, yes. Interchanged. That means, what I have told you before, that uh, the subject will go to the object place and the object will go to the subject place, okay? okay. Roman, can you please read number two? Yes. Only the past participle will be used as a main verb in passive voice. The tense is indicated by the auxiliary verb. Okay, so this is okay. As we have said before, the past participle will be used as a main verb in, the, in passive voice. The tense is indicated by the auxiliary verb that we are talking about the verb to be. Okay, so here we have an example, active voice. My dad bought our first car. Okay, can you change it into passive voice, Evie? Okay, my, uh, our first car was bought by my dad. Exactly, so we have the object plus was or were and the past participle of the main verb, third form, okay? Now, let's go to the next one. Uh, question. Uh, um, can you read it, uh, Roman, the question? Yes. Was were plus object plus past participle of the main verb in third form. Okay. Now, give me an example. Okay. Mm. You can read this one here if you okay. want. Okay. Was was eh, bueno leo el, el ejemplo que está en passive voice yes es okay were all the points covered by the speaker but first in active okay sorry that's fine did the speaker did the speaker co cover all the points aha uh -huh. very good did the speaker the speaker is the subject and uh, all the points is the object so we have here the passive job, the passive voice. We are using where, that is the auxiliary in past, all the points covered. So the main verb uses the third form. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Now, can you, Yvette, read the negative, please? Yes. Object plus was were plus not plus past past participle of the main verb. Third form. Okay, very good. So now here we have the example. Can you read it? Yes. And in active voice is the Minister of Finance did not present the rail budget. Railway, Pres uh -huh. sorry. Present. But present. Okay. And in the passive voice is the, the rail budget was not presented by the Minister of Finance. Of finance. Okay, very good. Now, uh, 
Roman, can you think of a, of a sentence that you can give me by your own? And Evie, start thinking on another one. <laughs> okay. In, in negative active. or? You can do it as you want. Give it in active voice and Yvette will change it into passive. And then Evie will give you an active and you will change it into passive. Okay, okay. I played my guitar. Okay. Yesterday, sorry. I played my guitar yesterday. Okay. Evie? He was played, no, perdón, sorry. The, the guitar was played by him. Exactly. The guitar was played by him. Very good. Now it's your turn, Evie. Can you give me an active voice sentence? Okay. I, I read or uh, read. How do you, do you say uh, the past of the read, the layer? Read? read. I read uh, a magazine uh, in uh, two weeks ago. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I read, read a, a magazine, magazine. Two, two weeks ago. Okay. Okay. Can you change it into passive? Yes. The magazine was read by Yvette um, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Very good. Okay, Roman, can you read this paragraph, please? Yes. In English, there are more sentences in active voice, as the subject who performs the action is relevant. In some cases, when you have to emphasize the thing that receive, receives the action, the passive voice is more useful. In general, scientific... Scientific. Okay. And academic writing, which needs an objective vision, uses passive sentences. Okay. So, Yvette, in other words, can you explain it to me? <laughs> or do you want me to explain it to you? Uh, but it's better <laughs> your answer. <laughs> okay. Now, what they are saying here that uh, we use more the the active voice because it is uh, it sounds better. But when we are talking about scientific or academic writing, is when the uh, passive voice is used so that it sounds more uh, uh, formal and at the same time we are trying to give more importance to the fact, to the facts that happened more uh, to the person that, uh, that made the action, okay? Okay, it's more formal. It's so not, not more for, well, it's like saying when you don't want to say who did something, is mm -hmm. when you are going to use the passive, uh, the passive voice. It is like, for example, my car was stolen, but you don't know who stole the car and you don't care. That okay. is the passive voice, okay? Mm -hmm. Some thieves stole my car. That would be the active voice. Okay. Okay? Understood. So I don't know if it is clear. Uh, Roman, do you understand it? Yes, yes. Okay, so remember, Yvette, when we are writing a book or something, sometimes we have to use the passive. And sometimes we interchange it with the active so that that uh, uh, sounds a little more interesting. Okay? Okay. Understood. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Now, did you know, Evie, can you read this, please? Yes. Uh, the main verb change at the change at the moment changes. that changes at the moment that the passive sentence is made look at the example with the verb give okay so here we have give gave given this is the third part of the verb the one that we should be using in the passive but more well mistakes are like this one i was gave something to drink incorrect they were gave some homework to do. Incorrect. She was given some help. Correct. Okay? Okay. Very okay. good. Are you sure? Because I am going to give you some exercises later. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go. In use, change an assertive phrase into passive. 
active. She loved her friends very much. Can you read the passive, Roman? Yes. Her friends were loved very much by her. Very good. Change, the, change a negative sentence by the passive. Active. He didn't know anything about it. Can you read the passive, Yvette, please? Yes. Nothing about it was known by him. Was known. Remember, known you have him. to repeat to pronounce everything. Known. Okay. Nothing about it was known by him. Very good. Okay. So now we have change an interrogative sentence for the passive one. Okay. Uh, Evie, can you read this one? Yes. Uh, the passive forms of these sentences start with did. If the active sentence starts with a question word, the passive sentence will also begin with a question word. If the active sentence starts with who or whose, the passive sentence will start with by whom or by whose. If the active sentence starts with whom, the passive sentences sentence will begin with who. Okay, so here we have some examples. Active, did he break the window? And the, passi and the passive, was the window broken by him? Okay? Okay. Yes. We changed the auxiliary, can you see? Mm -hmm. We are yes. using did because it is the past tense and as it is a question, we have to use an auxiliary. But when it changes to the passive, we have to use the auxiliary yes, verb the in the okay. past. And yes. okay. the main verb in its, in its third form. Okay, can you read the second one, Roman? Yes. Active. Where could you find such art? Passive. Where could such art be found? Okay, so as you can see, where could you find such art? Where could such art be found? And we are leaving out the you because it is not, in for, it, it is not important, okay? Okay. Okay, Evie, can you read the next one? Yes. Uh, active, why did you abuse your servant? Passive. Why was your servant abused by you? Okay, remember that if the active sentence or question starts with a WH question, you have to start it with a WH question as well. Okay? And remember that when it starts with who or whose, the passive sentence will start with by whom or by whose. Okay? Okay. Now, here we have the next exa example. Roman, can you read it, please? Yes. Active. Who killed the shark? Passive. By whom was the shark killed? Okay, so we are using who and we are answering, we are changing it with by whom. Evie, can you read the next one? Yes. Active. Whom did you invite? Passive. Who was invited by you? Invited. invited. Invited by you. Very good. Okay, any questions up to here? No. No. No? Okay, so let me share again screen with you. Okay, so then we have the first one. Past simple. Who can give me a, a sentence in past simple? Roman, can you give me a, a sentence in past simple? Yes. Inactive or passive? Active. Okay. I, I play football. No, sorry. I play with the ball um, uh, yesterday. Okay. Evie, can you change it into passive? Yes. Uh, the, the ball was played by him. Very good. Okay. So now let's see. We have active. People drank champagne last new year's eve roman can you change it into passive yes the champ the champagne sorry what is the champagne pronunciation? champagne okay the champagne champagne the champagne uh, was drank and uh, no, were drank by the people last new year eve 
Eve. Uh, what about you, Evie? Can you try? Okay. Uh, the champagne, champagne. Was, the champagne was drunk by people last year. Last bueno, New last Year's year, Eve. Very good. Why, uh, Roman? Because dr champagne is uncountable. You cannot okay. count it. Okay. Champagne was drunk last last New Year's Eve. Okay. okay. Now so, let's go. So the, the the words are words used by for the object and no for the subject. You are going to use the auxiliary depending on what you are going what you are going to be talking about. Like for example, okay. champagne is uncountable. So you have to use okay. the the auxiliary verb going to the uh, it has to be uh uh well you have to use it according to the the okay. subject that you're using. In okay. this case champagne was the object. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, now chefs used these machines to mix the ingredients. Could you please do it into passive, uh, Roman? Yes. The machines um, was, machines is countable or, or uncountable? Countable, machines, we are talking, look, these machines, this is okay. plural. Ah, yes, yes, okay. The machines were used by the chefs to mix the ingredients. To mix the ingredients, okay. These machines were used to mix the ingredients. Remember, not to change this, uh, the words. You have to use the same words, okay? Okay. Now, uh, can you read the active, Roman, please? Yes. They renovated they renovate the Re restaurant Renovated. In, okay. They renovated the restaurant in 204. Two, okay, 2004. In 2004, sorry. Okay, Evie, can you change it into passive? Yes, uh, the restaurant was renovated in 2004. Very good. Very good. And you can, you can add buy if you want. But what we are interested, we are interesting in, is in the restaurant. So that's why we don't care too much about who did it. That's why the buy, most of the times we are missing it. But as the class was given, they are teaching you how to do it so that you don't see that you're losing anything. Okay? Okay. Okay. Now, uh, active. Uh, can you read it, Evie, please? Yes. The teachers informed the students informed the students that the class was being cancelled. Had been cancelled. Has, 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 uh, sorry, it's in this. Yes, has the, been cancelled. Yeah, the teachers informed the students that the class the had class been cancelled. Okay. okay, Roman, can you change it into passive? Yes. Mm, the First class. Of, yeah. Sorry. The class was being cancelled, cancelled, um, the teacher informed, or I don't know. Evie? The students were informed uh, by the teacher that the class had been cancelled. Okay, let's see. The students were informed that the class had been cancelled. Okay. Why, Roman? Because remember, teachers is the subject students is the object okay? okay so we change the students to the subject were informed we are using the auxiliary and the verb in the third form and then the rest of the sentence okay 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 that is a good class isn't it okay so this is the end of the exercise can you read the last paragraph roman Yes, the agent is the person or thing that performs the action and this is the subject of the active sentence. Okay, very good. Okay, so do you have any questions? No. No? Okay, so let me go back. 
Okay, so we have arrived to the end of this class. I am glad to have been here with you and I recommend you to go to the model to finish the exercises before going to the next class. Okay, it was okay. a pleasure being here with you. Uh, see you, Roman, see you, Yvette. See you, Lorraine, thank you Thank you, Lorraine. You're bye welcome. Bye-bye, Roman. Bye, Yvette. Bye. Yeah, sorry. Bye.